morning. Welcome to the arthritis exercise class today. It's brought to you by the St. Joseph County Commission on Aging in Three Rivers, Michigan. I'm the instructor, Kathy, with a C.A. Taylor. <clears throat> the A stands for awesome, <laughs> awful, awfully amazing, awfully awesome, <laughs> awesomely awful. Got it. Okay. Let's wake up today. So today we're doing uh, child's play ball, which I have a few of them on the floor over there. Uh, you want to make sure that you have water, something for your lips when they get dry, and some air ventilation around you so that you don't succumb to, I don't know, sweat. Do we get that aggressive in our class that we get sweaty, overheated? Oh, please try. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay. So today we're doing child's play ball. Welcome to have you. All right. Um, I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit and then we're going to get warmed up and we're going to have some fun. Okay, let's start out like we usually do, seated position. And in the event that you are communicating with me, I will check in a little bit to see what you have said. I see someone checked in. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if people are there or not. Okay, let's breathe. We're gonna turn the head side to side. Oh, I just saw some bubbles or little balloons. We're turning the head side to side, stopping in the center. Okay, we're gonna drop the ears to the shoulders, stopping in the center. So I was debating. 
debating what I was going to do on my Facebook page for tomorrow. If you want to do, I decided on a cardio drumming, unless someone messages me different. I think I'll do cardio drumming at 11 on my Facebook page tomorrow. And Monday, I will do mashup at 11. Which will be, you throw in child's play ball, maybe Navi ball, the scarf, uh, the floor, we use the mats. Okay, march. Okay, stop the feet. Put the toes out in front. We're gonna scrunch the toes and release. We're gonna do cat scratch. So tomorrow will be on my Facebook page, public, cardio drumming at 11. And I'm not gonna tell you whether we work legs or sit on the ball because I don't remember. <laughs> And then stop, foot slide, and then Monday we'll do mashup. Abs are tight. Let's do external rotation. And then stop, the leg. Let's do lateral. together, side step. Heel dig. Remember opposites attract. do are cross over behind. So 
So one foot is on the floor, one foot is up. And then switch it out. out if you're a little tender there. <laughs> okay, we have to stand up and check some other joints. Okay, so you look like an upside down Y. Toe tap. I need to hear you breathe, please.
to let you know, when I allow people into my friend Facebook page, <laughs> I usually don't follow them because I have so much junk coming up on my page that's junk, not the friends, but junk. So it's like 20, 30 pieces of stuff. So what I do is I unfollow, and then I go in and check everybody out, maybe once a week, twice a week, you know. But I leave Sharon's on my page right now because Sharon always posts. Did we reverse yet? We probably did, didn't we? Sharon always posts these humorous little ditties, <laughs> and they are just so cool. The last one I saw was a picture of a stove, much like back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. They had all of these contraptions. Would you like this in your house? And Sharon says, no, because I don't like to cook, I think. Yeah, I think that's what she said. I think so. She's on today. She can correct me if I was wrong. <laughs> okay, so around the thighs now. This is where your arms bend. So I usually will go and I'll um, check everybody at least you know a few times a week to see how they're doing uh, and look at their funny little things that they have on their pages and reverse. I don't visit my brother's Facebook page very much. I don't know if you know who ZZ Top is. It's, it's a rock group and stuff. These guys have big beards and stuff. Well, apparently my brother thinks he's part of ZZ Top. I mean, he's got fur all over his face and the dark glasses and the hat. Scary situation. I'm gonna check and see if Sharon answered me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. She said I got that right. <laughs> oh, and, and Bev is probably saying, yeah, that's my sister. <laughs> Okie doke. So anyway, Pete is like, I don't know, he's out of this world. Okay, we're going to separate. We're going to go up and down like this halfway. And it's amazing, we're brother and sister, and my hair is darker than dark, and his is just all gray. What he's got left, I don't know what he's got left on his head, but his face is all gray. Abs are tight. Okay, so we've just done part of our usual kettlebell routine. Now we're gonna keep it this way, we're gonna do a V. Boats. It was like a beach house. I mean, they had enough beds in there for 20 people. That was a little much. That was a child's paradise. Okay, now we put the feet together. Hold on with the fingertips, and it's an inverted V. I have a niece that I visit on Facebook. She almost unfriended me because I wasn't saying anything, but I told her, and he says, I check on your youngin every day, you know. I have never seen anybody post so many pictures of themselves. Oh my word. Well, actually, probably have. I don't like my picture taken. <laughs> I don't like doing videos, <laughs> but I do. Ah! Beep, 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 beep. But I do that because we need to. All right. And stop. Okay, let's put the ball between the knees. We're gonna squeeze. And 
now we're gonna pulse. Uh, let's do a curl, bicep curl. So this is where you turn your palms to face the thighs and face the shoulders. Keep squeezing and pulsing.
Keep doing that. Thank you. Okay, let's stop. Oh my God, I do like to thank you. It almost sounded like a balloon. You know, you put air in it and then you open up the end and it goes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this feels so good. I'm so glad to be doing this. Not. Okay. This side, we're going to lean back. We're going to go under. I uh, got an invitation to participate in a, uh, uh, oh, I don't even know what it's called. I'll have to think about it and then I'll start talking again. Variety show, there it is, variety show via Zoom. And I thought, you know what? I know exercise and I know how to goof off on occasion. This doesn't hurt, so we're gonna do it for a few more. So my uh, little bit for the variety show is gonna be an exercise, commercial, and rest. And you know how I always talk about, you know, can't do this and can't do this. And have you ever tried stirring something and keep stirring it or mashing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I thought I would do like a parody or a comedy commercial. I hope it goes well. <laughs> okay, separate. We're going to go around the calves again. So one of the sponsors of the show which is called, hey, I can do that, that segment. The sponsor is, reverse, wecanhelp.com. And you get this really huge pendant that you can wear around your neck that's got all of these little buttons that you can push when you need them, stop. Go around the thighs now. Some of them are, put my rollers in my hair. I need help washing my hair. Stirring the oatmeal. Reverse. Mashing the potatoes. Oh, someone could add putting their food from their plate to their mouth. And stop. And for the men, uh, shaving your head or uh, trimming your mustache or the hairs in your ears, maybe. Uh, or help getting, moving the food out of the way in the refrigerator so that you can find it. This is all for $150 a month. As many times as you need them to come into your home in a day or a month, they will come in, and that is wecanhelp.com. <laughs> I was going to make a sign that was going to go behind me with wecanhelp.com on it, but it, I don't know if you realize this or not, but everything that you see is backwards. <laughs> okay, rest. Go around the body. Um, if I had a printed shirt on, it would be backwards on the screen. So I thought, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> so there's no wecanhelp.com poster. <laughs> Reverse. Owie! <laughs> All righty. I need a drink and some lipstick. And then we will resume. Don't go over. Okay, let's do. 
kettlebell all the way up and down. And then I just let them know that the next segment of I can do that, or what actually is the series is I can't do that. And the one I'm doing is, hey, I can do that. And then the next segment is, I've fallen. I can't get up. So the sponsor is going to be needalift.com. <laughs> So we're going to do it this way. We're going to go under and up. You know, folks don't realize that they can wad up a dishcloth, throw it around. They can have a dishcloth. Know, swing it around like we do when we use our scarves and then rest other side um, I think too many of us out there are stagnant <clears throat> we don't know how to just have fun <clears throat> and use our imagination oh mine runs wild both the center and the outside this time. So we're going to go under and then to the side. And if you want to add some theatrics to it, you can go like this. You just better be on your chair enough so that you don't fall off is all I've got to say. But it gives you a little bit more of a challenge in the seated position. Okay, let's do the other side. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, one side's easier than the other. Oh my goodness. So this is what you get when you have an older lady teaching an arthritis class. Let's do one more. We'll do a seated up and down before we stand up again. Now, what are your abdominals doing? Moving your stomach around to digest your food? That was the wrong answer. And now, side to side. And you do have to let it go. Can you believe it? It's going to be so warm on Sunday and Monday. At least they said it was, but you can't, you know, I, I shouldn't make that statement. You can't trust meteorologists because that's not nice, but just think about it. Okay, rest. <laughs> Actually, I need a drink of water again. We're going to stand up if you can do that. If not, you can stay in your seat. with the leg, you know? My lips 
got so dry so fast. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. Oh, we've got like about 10 minutes more of fun. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, let's separate and go under and all the way up. Remember when you go down like this that your knees are supposed to stay over your ankle. Do not let them go any further than your toes if they move forward, okay? I need to hear you breathe. Oh man, this is going to make my lips dry again. Okay, let's rest. Okay, let's do a little march and pass it around. We're gonna go forward and back. Isn't it amazing? I say rest and in the same breath tell you to do something else. <laughs> Reverse. Remember the balls are just a tool. Okay, rest. They're helping us to do things that we normally wouldn't do because we might feel some discomfort. Okay, we're going to do a rocking horse. Right leg forward. This is not something that we normally do. Okay, now let's go into a V. So if all you can do is a rock and roll, then just do a rock and roll. Start out with a rocking horse. Then we're going to do a V. If you can't do this, then just do the rock and roll. Actually, seated people would have their legs the knees out to the side. Okay, let's stop for that. And then when you do the inverted, the knees are together. Temperature dropped to 62. I will be so glad when I go upstairs. <laughs> Before long, it'll be like 72 down here and I'll be <sighs> can't get cool enough. Okay, let's do Step touch and an up and down. For those of us that are standing, we are going to turn left. Down. 
you're doing your squat, remember. And rest. Um, I was just thinking, something that you can do as an added activity at home, I, like I said before, I'm not going to turn my tablet to show you the wall, but have you thought about just bouncing your ball up against the wall and then catching it, bouncing it, catching it. That would be a really good activity to do. Maybe we'll do that at the facility. <laughs> you have to find enough wall space for that. Okay. Now, that was halfway up and down. Let's do all the way up and down. Remember, do not hyperextend your tummy, please. Oh, this is so much fun. You know, what are you going to do that's going to give you this much range of motion and flexibility? Wow, this is so cool. I just love it. All right. I should see a bunch of smiley faces just dancing across that screen. <laughs> okay, seated people, standing people. We're going to go under and up. Right side. Squat, and then add your hamstring. It's really easy to do with the ball <coughs> as opposed to the weights. Abs are tight. You need to keep those knees over your ankles, please. And you need to breathe, and you need to keep your head above your heart. And smile. And stop. Well, you can tell when the beta endorphins kick in, huh? All right, seated, standing. I seriously think this is one thing that I really enjoy doing because you get your squat and your hamstring at the same time. You're getting upper body workout. And cardio. Okay, let's stop. It may be 62 on the floor, but it feels like 68 up here. <clears throat> okay, we're going to add to that. We're going to go under, up, over, up. Got that? Let's do the left side first. Seated, standing. so that I can get a workout, so I hope you do too. I do believe we're just going to use this for a few minutes with our chair. I'm not going to put it away. Let's march. Piano with the fingers. Cross over. Tips of the fingers to the thumbs. And then march. 
Let's do a heel dig. Reach. Remember you're crossing over. Opposites attract. And march. Okay, let's separate. Breathe. So good after those kettlebell. Exercises and reverse. Oh. Yes, I'm ready too. I'm going to change out the music, dim my lights, and I'll be back. I may even get a drink, so go ahead and get a drink. Trust you're still breathing <laughs> the right way. You know how we're supposed to drink water throughout the day? I used to gauge, which I still do, how much water I use when I teach an uh, exercise class. Uh, if I can get a whole bottle of water drank during the class, that's a really good workout. So I gauge my workouts by how much water I drink. Sometimes I'm not impressed at all. <laughs> Set it in the lumbar area. Oh, does that feel good? And your tush is on the chair. Okay. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Just close your eyes and relax. deserve this, don't we? We deserve this, don't we? Okay, let's take our left hand, arm out to the side, keep it straight, bring it across the body and push into it. Send it back where it came from and bring it down. Before we do the other arm, let's move the ball a little bit. If you still have enough lumbar on that chair, just lower it a little bit, but don't let it pop off the back. Oh, that feels good too. Okay, bring the arm out.
let's release it and then send it back where it came from and bring it down. Okay. All right, let's take the ball out. We're going to set on the edge of the C. Separate. Arms stay straight. Remember, your body stays lined up like that. Don't bend at the neck. Okay. And come down. Oh, yes. Oh. Keep your head and neck straight. Lower the head, relax. Now lift your head, put your hands on your legs, and assist your back up. Good job. Okay, let's take the right leg forward, heel on the floor. Hang on to the chair if you need to and reach forward. Switch it out. And then lean forward. out of this, lift up, and then relax the leg and point the toes. So you've lengthened in the back and then when we put the toes down, you feel the lengthening in the front. Okay, let's take our arms to the back of our chair and on the side, not the top, and then just lean forward. Get a little little lengthening in the shoulder area and the arms. Breathe. And now relax your body and release the arms. <coughs> Okay, we're going to turn to the right. We're going to stretch out the quadricep. So with this, you want to uh, make sure that the toes are on the floor, the top of the feet are on the floor, if you don't have shoes on. With shoes on, it's a little bit more difficult. The knee is under the hip, and then you just lean back, and you feel that engaged. Gracefully come forward 
And then when your body's ready, you bring that leg back to meet the other one. And then you switch. And I neglected to tell you, but most of us know our cheek is off of our chair. And then we put that leg back there. And then you lean back. Ah. Remember, you can always do this laying on the floor or on the bed. Uh, you want to be on your side and your hips are stacked on top of each other. So when you go to grab your leg back there and bring your foot toward your tush, you don't want to lean the top hip forward or backward. You want to keep the hips stacked on top of each other. And then you can also do a little tug to lengthen a little bit more. I think, you know, if we can't do the stand up, which some days I can't, I almost fall over, this would be good, but then the laying on the side is better. Okay, come out of this, relax, and then come forward. And then when the body's ready, bring that leg forward. Hey. <laughs> Now we get to do the gluteus area, the cheeks, okay? So you want to sit back in your chair. We're going to do the left side first, so lift that foot. And see, it's, it's not that hard to do it. It's hard to get it down there like that and push down, okay? Um, but, and then you might feel some uncomfortableness here. We're eliminating all of that. We're not in any competition to see who can get their leg down the farthest. What we want to compete with is who can lift their cheek up off the chair the farthest, okay? <laughs> we have to have some healthy competition here. So you grab a hold of your leg like it's your best friend and then you take your cheek off the chair. Now, um, try not to pull yourself off the chair and fall. Just bring it up enough so that you can feel that pull in the tush area. And then to come out of this, remember you always relax. And then come forward. Allow the foot and the leg to go back where it came from gracefully. Good job. Okay, now the other side. And then you grab a hold of the knee and the leg like it's your best friend. I can definitely feel this side more than I did the other. I thought, I don't feel much. Switch sides, you're going to feel something. That's also the side that hurts when I go up and down stairs. Um, some tendon issue in there. It's just, it lets you know that it's there. <laughs> yeah, I have left cheek. The other one I never feel is it. Is there a left cheek over there? The right one I always feel, but the left one I don't know. Okay, relax, rest, and then go back slowly and allow it to go back where it came from. Oh, okay, I think we need to loosen up after that. So let's stand up, wardrobe fix. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to hula. Oh, yes. There we go. Feel it loosening up now after what we just did to it. And then reverse. <clears throat> and stop. Let's breathe comfortably. We're going to turn the head side to side, stopping in the center.
and then ears to the shoulders, stopping in the center. And then nod up and down like to a friend. Okay, yeah. Nice and smooth. And breathe. Okay, we're looking for some sunny days. But just because it's sunny, don't let your guard down. Uh, we're still in a pandemic. <laughs> we're still trying to get everybody better. So we have an edge. We're trying to be safe and stay safe and be healthy and stay healthy. Uh, feel good about what you're doing. Maintain a good habit, a good habit of what you want. Uh, my good habit is, uh, goodness, there's so many of them I can't pick one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you've got some good habits, keep doing them and then try to get rid of those bad ones, okay? Just kind of psh. Alright, toodles.